Hello everybody, welcome back once again to another edition of JJ's PC Builds. I'm your host JJ right here. We're going to get the B-roll started, so do stick around. We got some hot news for you right here on JJ's PC Builds. Welcome back everybody, welcome back again, through that b-roll. What we're doing today is we're going to do a recap on the benchmark and testing I did with the Ryzen 5 5600G and now with the same processor but here's the twist, a discrete graphics card. And I want you all to see the difference between the IGPU and the discrete graphics card. So that way you can see how much of a difference going from worse to better. So I'm going to go ahead and flip the screen and that way you can see. Alrighty, this is from um, one of my videos, it's the Ryzen 5 5600G Benchmark Uncut Part 1. Okay, so I pulled that up, I wanted you all to see from when it was just using the IGPU at 252 FPS and watching the FPS now from having the discrete graphics card in so you can see the difference between what I've been running the IGPU I've been running for many months well let's say four months and the new discrete graphics card I got is the 6500 XT so, seeing the difference between the two, it's night and day. Everybody says to me, yeah, but the, thing, the problem is, is with the card is, is that it doesn't do any, um, what they say, uh, game screen captures. Okay, well... This is what I found out. Okay, you want to do some gaming screen captures, use your processor. The one that sits and does nothing, that sits at about 8 to 10 percent. If you want to do gaming screen captures, you know, for, for videos, then use OBS Studios. That'll be your best. I used OBS Studios for mine, and as you can see, I don't have one problem using the 6500 XT or using an IGPU. How do you think I make the videos? What, because this doesn't have AV1 encoding or decoding? So what? Who? Why do I really need it? I do 1080p uh, videos okay I use the 5600 G processor with the 6500 XT graphics card a $200 graphics card and a hundred dollar processor so that's 300 bucks you gonna complain nah you ain't gonna complain not especially looking at, you know, 500 FPS on this right in front of you 
and compared to 252 going to 500, you know, I mean, I'm not overclocking. All my settings are the same. When I did the IGPU and I'm doing the discrete graphics card, it is all the same from, from point A to point B. They're all the same. This is the same exact testing. And as you can see, I don't have a problem with the discrete graphics card. I think what it is is that people complain about what they use is because they don't like the functioning of how to use it. Okay, if me, I'm doing the same thing that, you know, your consumer is going to do. Going to buy, you know, try to get the best prices possible. Try to get gaming quality as good as possible. And not cry about it. Okay, the thing is, is this. The, the discrete graphics card I got is at default just like the IGPU they both were running at default and as you can see it runs very well with little to it basically I don't see any any hesitations or I don't see any spotting or anything else I see it just running nice and smooth it's doing its doing its thing, you know. I mean, only difference is is it pulls a little bit more power on the CPU from the from the discrete graphics card. You know, that's the only thing I see that it went up maybe six or seven percent on the temperature, and maybe double the percent usage on the CPU. I mean, but you can see that the IGPU was running at 97%, 99%, and now the GPU, now the discrete graphics card is running at between 55 and 60%. Not even fully utilized getting between five six seven hundred fps so you you think these tests are you know unrealistic these tests are more realistic than you think okay when i go to play second life i hate to tell you this with it under a total total hard load which i put in under it pulls it right to about maybe 350 to 370 FPS on Second Life. That's the game I mainly play, so, you know, I'm not going to tell you about CSGO benchmarks. I'm not going to tell you about any other benchmarks, but, you know, the ones I use for Second Life. But I do do some Steam benchmarks. Don't get me wrong. We... You know, I do some Steam benchmarks, which we will get to a comparison on the Steam benchmarks in through quite a few other videos. I don't want to make this too much of a long video. I just want to compare the difference between the Tropical, Eugene Tropical, on the IGPU, and the discrete graphics card, which is the 6500 XT. I want you to see the difference between 252 and 500. See, I'm getting double the power. That's what I'm looking towards, double the power. I mean, it's on an average, I'm getting about double the amount of FPS with the same, just a little bit more power usage, but not much. Not much. So I wanted you all to see this. I don't want to make this a long video, but 
we'll be doing more videos and comparison testing with my discrete graphics card and the and the igpu live right now because once i get done with this i'm gonna put the b, you know put the b-roll in i'm gonna be putting the end cap on and boom i'm posting it today all my videos are posted as soon as i get done making them i don't edit my videos you get them raw as is so it's all real i keep it real i don't cut anything out just to let you know that but just to let you know too if you're watching this video make sure you like and subscribe be a subscriber come and be a part of jj's pc builds family we would love to have you here and we welcome you so do subscribe and also to watch the videos from the beginning to the end would be much appreciated it would help us get video time hours and help the channel grow we still need 1,000 subscribers and we still need 4,000 watch hours but until the next time in the next video we um JJ your boy we will see you on the next one oh and PS Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays to you and be safe.